although Onaga had returned from the dead, he did not re-inhabit his original body. Sindel and Jay found his sarcophagus opened. His body remained, but the armor was missing. Strangely, the hieroglyphics in his tomb were similar to an ancient Edenian language. She discovered an incantation inscribed by Onaga's holy men that was intended to transport his soul back into its original body. As she was memorizing the spell, Onaga emerged from the shadows. Onaga could have defeated both Jay and Sindel, but instead he took sadistic pleasure in unleashing Katana against them. He was a fool. Jade held off Katana while Sindel thrust her Kwan Dao into the heart of the corpse. As she screamed the ancient incantation, Onaga's soul leapt from Reptile's body into its intended vessel. The corpse came to life and cried in agony as the Kwan Dao prevented its heart from reforming. Sindel held the blade firmly in place as Onaga returned to the cold sleep of death. With the Dragon King defeated, the realms were safe, and Sindel's daughter, Katana, was free from his spell. May Edenia know peace once more.